holiday, so Eric has work off. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to island hopping. We're going to three islands. Went to Koh Tan, Koh Rab, which is a new island. And this other one, I forgot the name. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, just to relax. I don't think it'll be too relaxing. We're gonna be uh, full of activities today. So, be okay, ready fine. to be tired. Snorkel and relax. Yeah, super excited. Excited. We haven't done any water activity yet. Mm -hmm. We got picked up early in the morning from our hotel to go to Tong Kru Pier. The pier is at the south of the Koh Samui Island and it's really close to our first destination which is Koh Tan. At the time of our trip, there weren't a lot of tours available so we had our hotel arrange something for us. This is quite nice because we are the only one in this long tail boat so we got absolute privacy and they were really flexible with our schedule. I feel like we definitely pay premium for our trip because it was yep. arranged by our hotel and we have added a third island which is Koh Rap. The original itinerary would be two islands but we wanted our trip to be a little longer and to see the new islands. The entire duration of our trip was about five and a half hours. We paid 4,500 Thai baht for both of us which is roughly $136. You could definitely get a cheaper rate if you go with a bigger group or if you go directly to the operator to negotiate. However, because we booked it last minute, it was much more convenient for us to book directly with our hotel. Ready? Your nipples out. <laughs> Park out here. A little boat is coming to pick us up. 
Entrance fee is 50 baht per person. It's coming! It's like a big, big container. To this island was so fun, it was an adventure on its own. We visited the deers that were brought over from the mainland. They're supposed to be the main attraction of the island, but to us, the main attraction would be the crystal clear water and the beautiful beach. on the sea. Our last stop is to Komatsum, also known as the Pig Island. As the name suggested, we were hoping to visit some piggies on the island because it is their main attraction. However, when we got onto the island, there were no pigs to greet us. There was one piggy left by the bar, which was an employee's pet. He was so cute, but I can just imagine how hot he was feeling in the middle of the day. So we just left him alone and went to do some exploring ourselves. I'll let us show you around um, this island. I'll follow you. Let's go. It's a little hot right now. The sun is directly on top of us. Even though Komatsum is a smaller island, it has a huge stretch of sand. We were told that before the pandemic, they had 1,000 visitors a day. Little sandbar, yeah. And then right behind us is the restaurant where the shade is. Yeah, so we have a lot of beach little uh, huts here for food. A few boats, not too many people on the island. It's probably about like 10 in total. Oh, there's a huge stretch of sand here as well for the beach, so it's a quite big island. But it's too hot for us to walk around too much, so I think we're just gonna stay here. Yeah, after the snorkeling, the second island, this island is kind of just like, mm -hmm. okay. time to get some shade. Bye. Bye. And just like that, we're going back to the hotel. 
We actually got super sunburned from this trip, so remember to always wear SPF and drink lots of water. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.